Hello, welcome to Pastel Tapas. My name is Debbie Harding. I'm a pastel artist. And today I'm going to take you with me on a little bit of an explore around some of the local areas around me on the Olympic Peninsula where I have been able to visit some really fun marshes. today to this particular marsh. This is right across from the uh, John Wayne Marina area and, and uh, Squim Bay. And actually I've noticed on the sign that they call this an estuary. So I had to look that up and, and I looked up the uh, term marsh too. We use it for all kind of different wetlands. Um, an estuary is part of the outlet of a river and it's, uh, it's marshy. So I think there's some crossover between those two terms. One of the things I wanted to just share with you are um, some of the thoughts that I've had about why artists love to paint marshes. Uh, artists tend to gravitate towards a marsh as a subject, and I think there are some very specific reasons why. As you can see behind me here, this particular little marsh area um, is just so interesting with all of the different little fingers of water coming out. And I think that's one of the reasons why a marsh is such a great subject is because of the design element. I'm on the Discovery Trail. On this side of me over here is uh, the, the head of the uh, Discovery Bay. And it's uh, such a beautiful location here with lots of uh, marshland and stuff. Maybe I'll get some good photos of that.
and you can I could walk up and down this little road here and look back at this and have so many different lead-in lines and I think that's another uh, great thing for a composition. I walked over the top of this little knoll on the right here which is separating the water with uh, this dry marshy area here not so dry right there I'd like to take this moment to thank all of you who are members on my Patreon page. I sure appreciate your support. You know, um, I get a, a great boost from you every month and, and so I just thank you. You know, if you are enjoying this video, please do subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Not only is it a support for me to see you there, but you know, YouTube pays attention to that and as you show your interaction in that way, you know what? They will uh, suggest my video to more and more people. So please do consider taking just a little bit of time and doing that. Thank you. kind of uh, a succulent of some sort. Oh, this is beautiful. Also, you just can't beat the texture. I mean, take a look at this. Um, typically, uh, growing around a marsh are 
different kinds of grasses and sedge and uh, cattails. Every time of the year, there's a different texture here and a different color. What's another thing that artists love a lot is painting reflections in water. There's what? Oh wow. Yep. To the left of the yellow. To the... Oh. Well, you're having a ho totally different experience by being able to see them close up like that. That's neat. Yeah, yeah, they have their, their fill of land and sea cuisine, don't they? Yeah, I just love the sky. How gorgeous is that? Look at all the texture and the colors. Look back here. Look what's going on up there. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. That, that is just uh, exceptional. We certainly don't have to go far from home to find lovely things, especially in this area, though I have to say that we're very blessed to live and swim. Uh, what a great place. I have to walk over this uh, gush here. <laughs> Get back to the car on dry land. Every, everywhere you look, he just said, are eagles. That's a nice one. This, this, you can't beat this. I mean, look at how gorgeous it is. And we even have this little thingy here um, for a little added interest, too.
So thank you for joining me on Pastel Tapas. What a pleasure to share this video with you and all this lovely uh, surroundings that I get to live around here on the Olympic Peninsula. I hope it inspires you to paint a marsh. I hope it inspires you to keep your eyes open for those very interesting low-lying areas around you where the, the water meets the land and there's a lot of give and take and uh, create such interesting, interesting topics, uh, not only for our just personal enjoyment, but for painting too. So thank you, and until next time, there's more to come. Bye-bye.